Rose. Uh... Rose. Rose! Ah. Wake up! We're here! This place is amazingly huge! I still wonder how did you peacefully sleep with the bumpy roads on the way here? Attention! Do not vandalize the property and don't disrespect the nature here! Um, what is this place called again? The Avenue of the Baobabs, which is a group of these giant trees lining a dirt road that is located at road number 8 between Morondava and Beloni Trihaifana in the Minabi region of Western Madagascar. We are basically 6,545 kilometers away from our home country. Oh, aren't these the trees that can live up to 800 years old? Mm-hmm. You may be free to explore now. This place is surprisingly very clean and relaxing. Whoa! Look at these trees! It's 100 times larger than me! How big can this tree get? Is this tree fully grown or it can grow bigger? The baobab tree attains a maximum height of 23 meters and the trunk that you are hugging right now... Hey! Don't harass the tree! Yeah, it attains a diameter of more than 5 meters, but I personally think that it can grow bigger than this. Now, can you please stop hugging the tree? Alright, sick! Also, the reasons why this massive, giant, tall tree can stay strong and still is because the large trunk and thick outer bark allow baobab trees to grow tall while resisting buckling. Moreover, the baobab's large trunk size has long been thought of as a way to increase water storage since the climate where they grow can have extended periods without rainfall. It's like a camel, but in tree version. Though I was expecting more of these trees here, seems like it's only a few of them. My god, don't you know? Deforestation is a big problem in Madagascar. Every year, around 37,000 hectares of forests disappear from illegal logging and slash and burn agriculture. One of the main reasons why the one dense Madagascar baobab forest is gone is that the roots of the tree can handle the constantly waterlogged soil. Ah, that explains it all. But it's such a shame though. Yeah, but worry not. Madagascar NGO Madagascar Bouquet and Fauna and Flora International are working with Malagasy tree monitors to protect the endangered Gandadir's baobab. The tree monitors are responsible for the monitoring of individual baobab trees throughout the year. The monitoring project allows scientists to understand how they can save the damaged trees and how many they need to plant to replace felt trees to sustain a healthy population of the trees. That is such a great way to take care of the place. I'm very impressed. <sighs> I think we have explored enough of this place. Yeah, I enjoy appreciating and learning about the interesting facts too. Anyway, we need our tourist guide ask us to gather again. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know. Bro, I don't see the bus. They left us. We didn't pay them to get left here. Why wouldn't you listen to his instruction? Oh yeah? Why would you interrupt my focus by asking, What is this place called again? Maybe if you've done some research about this place, first of all, we wouldn't get stuck in this place. And I will listen to the instruction very clearly. Blah, blah, blah. All you know is babbling and blaming people. Research, then research. You're the one who excited to go here, then you need to do the research. Now it's your fault we got stuck oh, here. Look at that. What? Look at what? The sunset. It's so mesmerizing. Whoa. Glad they left us here for a bit. My apology. I didn't notice that both of you weren't here with us. But why did you come back? We were supposed to be here when the sun is setting, which is... Right now, we only went to another destination nearby, the Baobabs of Love. You guys must be alert next time. Aww, I was looking forward to see the tree. Hey, at least we got to see the famous and the most beautiful sunset ever. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it, move it. Move it.